Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and I am just about to leave Spain today. We're headed over to Scotland for a few days with my Scottish family before I finally get home and, you know, actually start making real videos again. So, as, uh, as of the previous video, thanks for everyone that sent their well wishes and curses towards the thieves. No developments that uh, have really helped me get anything back. But hey, there are worse things in life. In particular, this story that just came up into my feed this morning, I thought I have to share this with you. So uh, there's a company called Zero G Kitchen who is developing, who are developing an oven that can work on the space station to cook things. So it's a collaboration with nano racks to develop something that will slot into the space station's you know, rack slots. It will be a four inch wide, 10 centimeter wide, um, 20 centimeter, eight inch long oven. Uh, now, cooking in space or baking things in space is something that's never really been done. And it's kind of since baking or cooking things in an oven is a sort of fundamental industrial and chemical process. It's surprising that it hasn't been researched so much. There are many challenges, obviously, because when you're baking in an oven, you have convection that tends to cause the air to move around. Uh, this oven instead will just have heating elements all around to ensure that the, the heat is distributed you know, in every direction, I guess. But also you have problems with, you know, you're not really supposed to touch the walls of the oven. Well, unless you're a tandoori oven, I guess, but uh, <laughs> there's certain types of oven you're supposed to touch the walls, pizza oven too. Um, but yeah, so you have to come up with a rack that holds it in the middle of the oven, but then it's of course in zero G, so they're gonna cook their materials in these silicone rubber pouches with holes, or sorry, with filters that allow things like uh, steam to escape, but stop crumbs escaping which is quite a, an interesting way of doing that. But the real question, of course, that you're all asking right now is what are they going to be cooking on the space station? And the answer is initially cookies. They're going to be making biscuits, cookies, you know, sweet chocolate chip. I think that was the first thing that they were testing. Uh, and obviously you're immediately thinking, wow, fresh cookies on the space station. But this is all in the name of scientific research and the astronauts which will devote their time to making these on the space station are not allowed to eat them because they're going to have to send them back home to Earth to the researchers who will look to see how the recipe has been altered by being baked in microgravity. So yes, there are worse things than getting robbed on a highway. Baking cookies hundreds of miles from home and not being able to eat them is probably up there somehow. I'm sure there's some of you that no longer want to be an astronaut after this. But I mean, you know, if there's many, it is kind of fascinating to look at the number of ways that things can change. First of all, if you think about it, cookie dough is sort of like a liquid. And as it heats up, the oils, the fats in it soften. And so it become, it flows a little more and it flattens out on the sheet. In space, it's very likely the reverse might happen as the fats become softer, uh, the surface tension will draw, or sorry, the the viscosity will drop and the surface tension will tend to pull the cookies into spheres. So you might end up making something more along the lines of donut holes. Uh, yeah, I know this is just like a fascinating little aside. So they've got the hardware already developed. They've tested it on Earth. It's been totally approved. It's passed all the safety hardware. It's got shutdown stuff, ventilation. It doesn't take too much power. There's safe ways of cooling things afterwards and it's going to be hopefully traveling to the International Space Station on a commercial vehicle later this year, which could mean either an Antares Cygnus, or uh, sorry, a Northrop Grumman's Cygnus, or more likely it could end up going up on the, um, the Dragon on F SpaceX Falcon 9. Now, there is a question about whether they will pay for the return of the cookies. That that actually wasn't totally made clear to me because they will pay a bit more to downmass the experimental results. But it might be that they decide that their stuff was crap. <laughs> <laughs> not even worth investigating. I, I haven't seen the complete profile, but the point is that they pay to put this hardware up there. They'll pay to put up the ingredients. They will pay for the astronauts' time. 
and then they might have to pay to get the hardware back and uh, so that will be via a dragon one way or another so yeah going to be seeing cookies flying on a spacex uh, dragon very soon i'm scott manley fly safe